Welcome to 5 Minute STEM. Today we're going to be going over how to use a combo chart using a real world example. So let's say you have these different projects, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you are giving forecasted hours for each month, like the amount of work you're expecting each project to have. Um, and you are going to compare that with the actual hours. So you know, January has already happened, February has already happened, March, etc. And so you're analyzing this forecast data for resource planning probably, and you want to see how accurate the forecasting is compared with your actuals. So what I would do for that is create a stacked bar chart in combination with a line graph for the actual hours. So to do that, you can just highlight the entire section of the data that you want then go to insert and right here is the combo charts and here's a combo um, bar graph and line graph so it kind of looks funky at first so you gotta go right click and then select data get rid of those blank series and hit OK and it looks a little bit better but there's you only want one line graph and there's this one left project 5 should also be a bar graph and you also want to stack all the bars so right click change chart type then go to column and then select this stacked column and there you go so this, you can compare your forecasted hours, which is the bar, the stacked bars, with the actual hours so far. So you can see, you know, in February, your forecast was under what your actual hours were. In June, your actual hours were over your forecast. In August, your actual hours were below your forecast. <laughs> And so then you could even add another line later on if you know your available hours. So let's say you have, you know, two people working full time. That's 16 hours a day typically. So you could create another line graph and compare your available hours. And that's it. That's as simple as it is for a combo chart. Thanks for watching.